Welcome to the Cloud Computing Insider YouTube channel and my five minutes to cloud series of learning videos. In just five minutes, you'll gain a clear understanding of today's topic, how it works and why it matters in the modern technology world. If you're into learning about cloud computing, whether it's serverless, containers, Kubernetes, cloud native, or multi-cloud, make sure you subscribe and like this video and drop a comment below with your thoughts and questions. Let's dive in. So today we're gonna to hit the topic of cloud native. What the heck is that? Well, cloud native is a modern approach to building and running applications that are optimized for cloud environments. It uses containers, microservices, automation, and dynamic orchestration to create systems that are scalable, resilient, and easy to update. So, and it's one of these catch-all terms. You'll see that people will talk about cloud native, and I do as well, uh, in something that is native to the particular cloud environment, which is kind of what it means. In other words, something was built for the cloud, purpose-built uh, in terms of using the scalability, security services that public cloud providers are able to provide. So cloud native apps can run reliably across multiple platforms and adapt quickly to changes, allowing organizations to innovate faster and reduce operational costs. So the result is software that's flexible, easy to maintain, and designed to fully leverage the benefits of cloud computing. And I think that's a key word there. In other words, when you think about what cloud native is, it was purpose built or refactored for the cloud, and it's designed to take advantage of what the public clouds are able to offer. And so in many instances, when we did, you know, lift and shift migrations over the past, you know, 15 years, they weren't refactored to take advantage of the capabilities of the cloud that they're going to be hosted on. So in other words, they were just, you know, moved from a LAMP stack or, you know, my Windows NT on prem into the cloud and kind of hope for the best. And without that refactoring, without the ability to kind of turn them into cloud native capabilities, they use up too many resources. So cloud native allows you to design applications specifically for cloud environments. They provide scalability, resilience, and they're easy to update. And as a attribute, they typically involve microservices, containers, APIs, and DevOps. Now, now I know that's a ambiguous definition, but I think that's a good way to describe it. In other words, if something's built for the cloud, purpose-built for the cloud environment, typically it's going to be called cloud native. So how does cloud native work? Well, it emphasizes automation, elasticity, and rapid deployment. It relies on managed cloud services, infrastructure as code, and continuous delivery. So infrastructure as code means that we're able to bind uh, configurations, which are going to be defined using code, to the particular workloads that we're working with in the cloud. And the idea there, it's able to declare how much, how many resources it has, the processor it needs, the memory size it needs, the storage it needs, the IO it needs, the network bandwidth it needs to operate itself. And so by doing that, we allow these applications to have some autonomous capabilities. In other words, if they're able to define their own environments from programmatically from within the application, that's a tremendous advantage. So why are we even messing with cloud native? So what are the key benefits? Well, high availability, scalability, and resilience would be the big one. Uh, also, it has fast time to value and innovation and integrates easily with cloud native tools and services. So you would kind of guess this is kind of a logical conclusion to this. So we're going to leverage the uh, cloud capabilities of a particular cloud provider, AWS, Microsoft, and Google we're going to have the advantages of that provider. And so that's why we moved to cloud native in the first place is because we're able to take full advantage of the native capabilities on the cloud platform that we're running on. So what are some of the common use cases? Well, enterprise digital transformation be, would be the main one. The ability to turn something, you know, say running within a data center for many, many years, convert it into a cloud native application, and that provides a good path for digital transformation. Or the ability to enhance uh, the utilization of technology uh, to bring value back to the business. Software as a service startups and platforms also uh, would take advantage of cloud native features. In other words, if anybody is putting together, you know, some sort of a uh, software as a service based system, you know, either for use on the public cloud or maybe just use within the enterprise, cloud native capabilities are going to provide some great advantages there. And then modernizing legacy workflows for uh, scalability. And in other words, if we're moving something into the cloud, we want it to have scalability, the ability to kind of move them up and load or down and load 
depending on the needs of the business. And as the needs of the business change, changes, cloud native applications are going to be capable of doing that. At least we hope so. So what are some of the challenges? Well, it requires a different culture and, and skills shifts for teams. And so in many instances where applications weren't updated to be cloud native applications, they were just lifted and shifted. There was no change in talent. There was no change in culture. Uh, they just did it because it was a path of least resistance, even though it ended up costing them a great deal in terms of cloud resources that are leveraged because they're not doing th things around cloud native. So therefore, they leverage more resources. Distributed complexity and new security considerations have to be secured differently and operated differently. And then legacy integration can be difficult as well. So in other words, we have cloud native systems, something that's sitting on AWS. We have to link it back to a former application workload and data store that exist on prem uh, that obviously comes with its own degrees of complexity so what does cloud native mean <laughs> in other words what's uh, bottom line it for us dave so it enables organizations to fully leverage the cloud's potential at least that's the way it's sold internally and by doing so it's able to provide foundation for the next year in digital products and services so in other words it's a better way to build and deploy applications if they're going to run on the cloud. The downside would be cost complexity. And the fact is we have to have different talent and different cultural shifts to do it right. But if this is kind of the way in which we do application development and deployment right on the public cloud platforms. That's it in a nutshell. I hope you got something out of that. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also check out my other videos here. Let me know what you think about uh, the coursework here. If you want me to continue topics, you want me to hit things like that. Happy to do it. Teacher by heart, <laughs> you know, love doing this stuff. And so, you know, check out my other work as well. Check out my uh, InfoWorld cloud computing blog, my 100 plus LinkedIn learning courses, and of course, my latest book, An Insider's Guide to Cloud Computing. So until next time, you guys stay safe. Cheers.